was just talking to Rainy. She was telling me the story. Remember the, the guy that went on a date with a girl, and then uh, he was acting all, he was traveling the world, but he couldn't pay the bill? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right? So Rainy's listening to that. Rainy, good morning. And she's had a better story. What happened to you, Rainy? <laughs> I don't know if mine's better, but um, so I was dating this guy who was kind of like semi-pro rugby, and I remember he would take, you know, he'd take me out to eat, and the first time he took me out to eat, um, his card was declined, and then, but he did have backup funds, so he always was able to, like, pay for it, but then it happened, like, a second time at another restaurant, and then a third time, and then a fourth time, and, like, a fifth time, and then after that, I started noticing I was getting anxiety, like, financial anxiety, like, oh, my gosh, <laughs> <Do you laughs> like, even you- have money, like... <laughs> Like, you're going to be yeah. at dinner, and every time you go to dinner, the car's going to decline? Like, <laughs> I know, like, every single time. And it was just like, I just, I don't really know if you, like, I feel like, I don't know. I just didn't even know if you had money. I'm like, do you have a job? Like, are you working? Like, is everything okay? Like, it was just, yeah. Well, it is it semi-pro funny. rugby. Uh, right? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. It's also it like a, such a random sport that, like, you wouldn't really recognize. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Right. Uh-huh. Not even pro rugby. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, Rainy, that's great. Thank yeah. you. And you're not with Anyways, him anymore. Was, Are you with him or no? Funny. Are you with him anymore or no? No. No. Okay. no. I just pray he has some money. You know? <laughs> All right. Funny, but... Thanks for yeah, listening, it Rainy. Just, it was just funny. It's yeah, very thank funny. you. Bye. Bye. Okay, speaking of funny, Peyton, what happened to you? Where were you trying to go and what happened? I don't really think it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this morning I'm getting ready. I'm getting my stuff together. Have you guys ever had to unclog a toilet without a plumb? Like without a, what are those things called? A plunger. plunger? A plunger. Have you guys ever had to do that? Yeah. No. Unclog without a plunger? Is that possible? One. Oh, yeah. It's possible because I did it. Well, I defied all the odds this morning. Did you shove your fist and down I there? I did it. You, I oh, thought about gross. it, but I didn't. So, no. I was in the biggest rush. Of course, I'm like going to the bathroom and having to figure this out because I'm grabbing all my stuff. I'm like, if I don't leave the house right now, I'm going to be late to work. I got to get out of here. So, I'm like trying to deal with this clogged toilet that I had used. It wasn't like it was like a clean toilet bowl, right? So, it was gross. <laughs> Anyways, so... <laughs> You know when you go and you like, your toilet's clogged, and then you like go to flush it to kind of like test your odds and yeah. see. And when it starts yeah. rising. And, and then you start, the anxiety starts to happen. That was me. So I'm freaking out. I'm getting all of the towels everywhere to basically plan for like pure chaos this morning. It's like 4.45 this morning and I'm freaking out. Kadeem's dead asleep. I'm trying to be quiet. I put all these towels down <laughs> and I open the lid of the toilet and you guys, if you have never had to open the lid of a toilet in an apartment, it is the most disgusting thing. You're talking about thing, the back? The back yeah. of the lid, right? So I look in there and there's like no water. So I just ran into the bathroom and I filled up a couple cups and I put a bunch of water in there and then it worked. Life hack. <laughs> life hack. Hi, here's a life hack. Courtesy flush. <laughs> <laughs> there's that. <laughs> they say too, if you're to just to give you another tip, if you if you can get like some Dawn dish soap, pour that down there and let that dissolve everything. Yeah, but she didn't have time. Yeah, she didn't have time. time. I literally had like point two seconds to get out of that house. So it got it taken care of and you're I good? I think so. I you, left. Do you not have a plunger? <laughs> no. You got to get a plunger. I yeah. know. I never, I Uh-oh. just never ran into that Kyle's problem. making oh, a mental good. note for your birthday. <laughs> I don't want to. What are your favorite I'm colors? A- <laughs> Golden handle plunger from Kyle Unfug. <laughs> I don't want a plunger for my With, birthday. Uh, <laughs> why don't you jump on that auction bedazzled, site? bedazzled yeah. plunger from Kyle. I'll get Kyle you a bedazzled <gasps> plunger. For your birthday. No. Are all that Gross. money you're spending on that auction site, you need to get yourself a damn plunger. How do you not have a plunger? I don't, I just never have had a clogged toilet before. I never thought it was a necessity like that. A plunger is like something you just have to have in your house, I think. I don't. Yeah, it's one of those things. I think it's more important than a fire <laughs> extinguisher because that problem's going to happen probably more often than a fire. So you should have one. Yeah, it was a really unfortunate So your situation. boyfriend has no idea. He has no clue that that happened. And honestly, I'm going to blame him because why was the toilet clogged when I went to the bathroom? I didn't do anything. He's the one that used it last, so he must have broke it. That's true. <laughs> just saying. Although, what if it didn't work and he's waking up to like... <laughs> I would feel so... He would probably leave me. No joke. He I would think probably have to, break up with me. You'd have to understand me. that. 
<laughs> I think I would be okay with that too. You're like, okay, I, I get, get it. it. I get it. I think I've had that happen before, but you're somewhere else, not your house. At least you're in the privacy of your own home. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like if you're at a restaurant or someone else's house and the plunger and the, you don't have that. Oh, and it starts, so gross. So that's when you use your fist. Oh. Just See, I just, you yeah. never had to do that. No, I haven't had to do that. Like you've done this. No, that but so I, the, the panic, the panic of being at someone else's house and clogging their toilet and yeah. there's no plunger, that panic, I would do whatever it takes to, to, Unclog it. Stress. Usually it's praying. I did contemplate taking a cup and start scooping water out. I was about that close. (laughs) So gross. So gross, but like everyone's been through it. Come on now. Yeah. That's true. (laughs) It's a stressful situation when the, yeah, when anytime a toilet clogs. Yeah. I, (laughs) I was, this was before I was married and I was dating this guy and I woke up in the middle of the night and I was so sick and I just like annihilated this toilet and I like, (laughs) I flushed thinking it would flush like fine yeah. and it didn't and it was the middle of the night and I'm like I'm gonna set an alarm I'm gonna wake up early there's no way I can do it and I did not wake up first and he woke up first <laughs> no way <laughs> the first thing he said when he woke up he's like don't worry I took care of the bathroom and I was like no <laughs> 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 you even go in there the door was shut I get it <laughs> why would he go to his so own relatable. bathroom <laughs> <laughs> so yeah I mean, we've all been there <laughs> OMG <laughs> was that the end of your relationship no no it wasn't so then I was like oh you're alright you, you this guy is so easy with his friends hey how's it going with Kyle with sexy Kyle mother of god okay. I'm tell you. <laughs> sure. you know how I'm heavily influenced by celebrities Oh, oh yeah. my gosh. Like, whatever For celebrities years. do, if they're endorsing a product, or they're usually if they're wearing something, I, like, want it, you know? And you know how, I think I've told you guys, like, I can't find a, a really good pair of pants. I've lost some weight. My body's kind of changed a little bit, so my jeans don't fit. So I've been searching for jeans and, and pants that, that work for me, and it's very hard for me to find. So I have all these jeans that don't fit. I'm watching Saturday Night Live on Saturday. Mm-hmm. Ryan Gosling is hosting. At the very end... Ryan Gosling comes out. You know, at the very end, they go, I want to thank Caitlin Clark for being here. I want to thank so and so for being here. And it all clicked because of what he was wearing a belt. <laughs> a belt? A belt. <laughs> okay, what kind of belt? I don't know. It was just a brown belt. So now, it's the first time ever I'm wearing my jeans and I got a belt on. Uh, what's up? What's up? That's, that's, that's a cool up? belt. Kind of distressed. That's a belt I've had forever. So then, like today, earlier this morning, I had to go to the bathroom and it just messed my routine up because <laughs> normally I just go hit a button, boom. Now I'm like, ah, ah. you have to put a, like a five, eight second delay in there because of the belt. I, it's a whole, it's a whole vibe. I mean, you have to be careful with the belt. It's a, you're going to change your life. I, I know. Into cars I wonder different. if I walk different. Everything's different. <laughs> <I'm gonna laughs> Ryan Gosling's <laughs> bringing belts back. <laughs> like I was standing in the mirror, in my, I was standing in the mirror, my in my bathroom, and I was like, I you know pretend to walk away and turn around and go, oh, oh, is that a belt? <laughs> and then you know how guys tuck in the front of their shirt sometimes? Yeah. So yeah. I kind of did that. It looked cool, but it, it's too on purpose. Like, yeah, <laughs> that has to be an accident. I don't think I could do it on purpose. Brian Gosling can make it look like an accident. He had it differently. He had, a, like, a shirt on and a coat, and then he was, like, waving, and then you could the, your shirt lifted up, you saw the belt, and I was like, that's a belt. Yeah, Ryan Gosling <laughs> is one of those guys that can look good. He could wear, He could look good in a turtleneck well, yeah. and a scarf. Yeah, he yeah, could yeah. look good in anything. Yeah, those are all good things. If but he was the wearing things a, you notice, John Jay. Yeah, you think? If he was wearing a turtleneck and a scarf, I would be wearing that today. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Because of the pants thing. Also, I was going to give you guys an update. So, I, I was telling you yesterday or that my wife asked me to get a George Foreman grill yes. because I love eating hamburger every day. I eat hamburger every day and I do it on these old pans because I'm not allowed to use the new pans. <laughs> so when I use it on the old pans, grease, I had no idea it did this, but I guess grease flies up everywhere, right? And spits. Yeah. And so she said, get a George Foreman grill. So the George Foreman grill was home when I got home yesterday from doing a show and I was all excited. So I plug in the George Foreman grill, right? Uh, and I read the directions, believe it or not. Really? Yeah. Except I didn't really do the part where you got to wash the plate or whatever. Eh. I, I mean, it, and then it was already on. It was on. It was really hot. And so, you know, I did take a little towel and whatever. And then I throw the hamburger on there and I eat a hamburger, two hamburgers. Okay. Four or five hours later, I'm like, let me try a steak. Throw, I, I threw a ribeye on there. And let me tell you, my review of the George Foreman Grill, it sucks. Why? 
It makes, it makes the meat like rubbery. The meat tastes totally different. That's so crazy because when you posted it, I was like, that does not look good to me. No, it, <laughs> did, it did. It was totally changed. I yeah. had, so first I thought maybe it was the hamburger meat, but then I made two ribeyes and Dutch tried it. Dutch goes, it's rubbery. I, that same, I had, you know, I bought like five ribeyes the night before. I had barbecued them the night before and they were fantastic. Did you cook it too long? No, I don't think so. It was the same. It was the same rareness, but I was just like, I don't get it. I don't no, get it. no seasoning on it though. Yeah, it was, you... yeah I know how to okay. cook a steak. I mean, I, I did that. Right. I'm saying the way it was cooked. It was, also, it was a it was a rubbery hamburger. And it was a very chewy hamburger. It was a very chewy steak. I've only had glorious experiences mm, from the George bummer. Foreman Grill. I don't like chewy. So I was telling my wife in front. I was like Dutch are eating, and I was like. Well, your mom doesn't want me to cook in here anymore, so we got to use this. <laughs> and he go, I go, I'm sorry, I ruined your steak. And then she's like, well, go ahead and cook them, but make sure you clean all the grease. I didn't know there was grease to clean. And then somebody says, use an air fryer. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's that's great, too, but I don't think you're going to like the flavor a ton better than the grill, but you can dump the a flavor's little. Flavor's fine. I've never s- done, like, burger or steak in the air fryer. Steak so in the air fryer is bomb. I always do, like, um, butter steak bites, and they always come out great. Well, someone told me you got to wrap it in some... Some wax paper and then put it in the air fryer. Oh, I don't do that. I just chop okay, it I don't up know. And throw it. I've never. I we have this thing. I didn't know until yesterday it was an air fryer. It's been sitting in our counter forever. I thought it was some sort of coffee maker. Yeah, but that might be your thing then. But put a little salt in the uh, in the thing in your pan, and it'll keep the grease from jumping up. There's your life hack. So oh, I you, put salt on my on the pan all the time. But what, like, will you put the oil? Do you cook it in oil? Oh, I usually use um, avocado oil or coconut oil. Oh yeah, so whatever. Put uh, the salt in the pan with it, and it'll stop the grease from jumping up so much. I came across this like TikToker that makes beginner friendly meals for people who have like never cooked before, and she said that when you make hamburgers, that you don't put any oil in it. That you just put the hamburger patty because the meat has already has its oils and stuff, and then you, maybe it'll. Take Take away your problem. Oh, I've seen that too, but mm. the problem is I'm not allowed to use the new pans, <laughs> <laughs> and all the old pans have all that. Oh, you know what I mean? Like it lost its like coating. <laughs> yeah. Hey, do you want to know what did John Jay do to the other pan? Has banned him from the new ones. You should just get your own. You get your own pan. When my wife makes dinner now, whatever she, you know, let's say it's one of those like she puts everything up on the counter and all the plates. Like I'll go grab a paper plate and put away the nice plate because I just don't. I just I feel like I'm not worthy of a real plate. I think you go to like Ace Hardware and get you a good copper pot <laughs> to cook yeah. stuff in a good copper it's pan like my pan and no one else <laughs> yeah, can touch, else can touch exactly. it that's a good idea and yeah. you don't have to clean them because they're <laughs> the, the the good like cast iron stuff get the cast iron all you have to do is wipe it down and you're done well. <laughs> that's the way to go i think john jay just needs to use his old pan and just clean up the grease because i feel like anything <laughs> new isn't gonna work for him but i didn't even know what she's talking about with the grease i've never seen it before i don't know what she's talking about that's because you probably don't pay attention to the splatter on the no. stove and all that i gave I'm, i told jake my son jake who's at U- university of arizona i called him yesterday I go, hey man i got you a george foreman grill <laughs> <laughs> i was at the dentist yesterday and i had you know, I, you know i've been married a while but it's still this relationship stuff is a lot of work, right? <laughs> sure is. Gone to counseling, learning all, you know, because there's that book, Men Are From Mars and Women Are From Venus. You know, they're, we're literally two completely different things. 100%. So get this. I'm trying to be, like, really good husband whenever I can. So, like, when I go to, there's a, there's a restaurant next to my gym where Blake loves the iced tea from there. So whenever I can, I'll grab her an iced tea and I come home with an iced tea and it just makes her day. That's she, very nice. She loves green tea. I try to do that kind of stuff, right? And I told you guys, I started doing the dishes, right? <laughs> yeah, like right. for the first time ever, ever in your life, which right. blew all of our minds. Yeah. But- so then yesterday, I'm at the dentist, and there's a restaurant that's by the dentist that I don't go to by myself, ever. It's a great restaurant. Uh, Dave Portnoy from uh, Barstool Sports just reviewed their pizza the other day. La Grande Orange. Gave mm-hmm. it a 7 out of 10, right? Great restaurant. I think we've all been there. But I don't go there by myself, right? I would never go there by myself. So I'm at the dentist, and she calls me. And we're talking about, oh, I forgot you're at the dentist. I'm like, yeah. She's like, I go, and I, I, I'm out of here. I, when I'm done, I'm starving. Now, when I'm starving, when I'm hungry, I just want to eat at home. Like, I love the food. I love I make hamburger patty, and, and I'm good. And my yogurt, that's my dream. Hamburger patty, vanilla Chobani Greek yogurt, and I watch TV. That's what I want, right? And she goes, I go, so I'm starving. She goes, oh, if you go to LGL, will you get me a tea? I'm like, Nowhere in there did I say I was going to go to LGO. <laughs> Nowhere in there was that part of the plan. Nowhere, like I never said that. I have no. There's nothing there. That's like, oh my, I can't wait to get the whatever. You know what I mean? There's not, and I'm like, what the hell? So I, the 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 Amy who's cleaning my teeth, the dental hygienist, she's like, you know what that was about, right? Like what? She wants you to get her an iced tea. 
And I go, she does, doesn't she? But she's not saying, can you stop and get me an iced tea? Mm-hmm. She said, she's if, like, if you go, if you go. tell Gio, <laughs> get me an iced tea. Yeah. And I'm just like, my mind, I'm just like, can't we just communicate like normal people? But that mm. is normal people. Yeah, it you is. You have to learn how to, you need a, tra- a woman yeah. translator. Listen, you, I mean, it comes out all the time like, please don't get me anything for my birthday. Every woman will tell you, you better get something for their birthday. So I went to, I went, I pull up at LGO. Okay, I pull up at LGO. So it's 2 o'clock, 1.45, pull up at LGO. And I text, I know my son's getting out of school at 2.20. So I'm like, since I'm coming here, hey, I'm at LGO. Do you want anything? He goes, get me a pizza. For real. Dutch. Just get me a pizza. So I walk in. There's no line. And which I'm surprised because that Dave Portnoy guy just blew the place up, right? And actually, I know the owner. He's a friend of mine. He uses my cold plunge. What up, Greg? So I walk in. There's no line. And the lady says, can I help you? I said, yeah. I go, what's the, f- I don't want to wait for a pizza very long. So I said, I go, what's the fastest pizza I can get? And she says, you're not going to get one here. And I thought, well, that's strange. And I figure, okay, I have to wait 20 minutes. I go, okay, so like 20 minutes. She goes, no, you're not going to get a pizza here. And I look at it, it says pizza. You know, the pizza menu behind her. And she goes, we don't serve pizza till four. And I was like, oh, okay. So I go, I'll just take a green tea. So I got a green tea, $5. And then she has the gall to turn the thing around and ask me to give her a tip. Uh. <laughs> really? No. You want a tip from oh, me? No, you All don't. you did was hand me a tea and tell me I can't have pizza. <laughs> right? That's so 2024, oh, though. Man, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> so, then, so then I get the tea, I go home. I'm watching TV, I'm doing whatever. My wife, she's at the, the dog shelter. She comes back hours later. And I open up the fridge and I'm like, hey, I got you a tea. She was so happy. So happy. Like, I was like, hell yeah, I'm glad. You know what I mean? Like, I'm so things. glad I went. Because if I didn't, first of all, at least you forgot about the tea. So yeah. it was like a great surprise. So, anyway, just let you know that um, you got to listen to these women. <laughs> these women. It's like a magic trick. Listen How'd to you do these that? women. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, we would like to be told exactly what's expected. But see, what I always hear back is you should know that blank, right? It's like, I want somebody oh. who knows should know. But we don't know. We don't know. We, Dude, sometimes then, we don't want to have to tell you everything. That, right? well, I would have, so last night, here's a different version. So last our, our garbage has been packing up. It's getting stacked up, right? So instead of saying to me last night, can you take the garbage out? She does that whole, you know, Francine, Carolyn, Cynthia Stout. What you know that, that? that poem I told you guys about? A book said, take oh, the yeah. garbage Sarah, out. Oh, yeah. Cynthia Stout, something, something. Take Didn't the take the garbage, garbage out. out. Yeah. And she goes, oh, so does that, has anyone read Sarah, Cynthia, something, Stout? And I'm like, oh. I'll take the garbage out tomorrow. Like, you know what I mean? Can't you just say, take, can you take the garbage out? <laughs> you gotta read between the lines. I don't know. <laughs> That's her saying, I didn't want to have to ask you to take the garbage out. You should have noticed that the garbage <laughs> needed to be taken yeah. out. But instead of saying, can you take the garbage out, I'm just gonna remind you about Sarah Cynthia Stout. Because yeah. you know what that means. <laughs> I, I, I can, I, as a guy, I think I still got a couple more days of garbage building before I need to take it out. <laughs> but now she wants to take it out. You're like St- what Stacy says. She's like, if you close it, you don't see the garbage. It's when it's open that you see it. So just keep it closed. Yeah, we have and you boxes. Don't see it. It's just boxes of stuff. And then we throw garbage in the boxes and all the boxes fill up all over yeah, the hallway. I, I, I can't take that. I got I to gotta go and patrol oh, all the time. Oh, man. This whole marriage thing, huh, guys? Yeah. <laughs> it's big fun. It's really not that difficult if you just pay attention. From the woman's point of view. Yeah, that's it. You have to pay attention. You have to actively pay attention. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. Anyway. <laughs> that's not your thing, really. Paying no, attention. it's not. It's not. Like, I got this whoop band here. Yeah. Never read the directions. Just put it on and put it on all wrong. <laughs> First day, Kyle's time like, "That's I see wrong." You have it on. I go, "That doesn't look right." Because Scott has one. My husband wears it all the time, and like, it still kind of doesn't look right the way it's on right now. Oh, I had I had a, a someone who has one put it. Re- Dude, I got no heartbeat. I got no heartbeat. <laughs> I made a purchase yesterday for something that I've I've kind of always wanted, but really didn't know that I that we needed it. And then my wife was fed up and told me to buy this thing. Here's the story. Every day I. At some point, I just love making a hamburger patty, eating just a hamburger. No bread, you know, and just the hamburger meat. I actually love it. Like, I look forward to it. I make it every day. And apparently, it messes up the pans and then grease flies all over the place. Does that make sense to you guys? Yeah. Yeah, Sure. Yeah, it's so messy. Yeah, I like it better than making it on a barbecue grill. I like it on the pan. And so, my wife's been complaining about it for a while. And then... She got these new pans, and I'm not allowed to use them. So I, <laughs> so I use these other pans. And then last night, she was just like, I don't know. She was like a level 10 with like, enough. 
She told me to get a George Foreman grill. Heck yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And I and I remember we got one. Because then a, everything drips into the little drip I don't know. Pan. I've never seen it. We got one as a wedding gift one time, and I think we gave it away. And Why would you I, do that? They're the I know. Best. So I went and bought one yesterday. So I go I go to Amazon, and there's like a whole bunch of different versions, and I just wanted this, a, a simple one. I don't know the difference. Uh, so I ordered one. So I'm pretty excited now. Right? Oh, that yeah. should help with my hamburger patty. Right? For oh, yeah. sure. And you know, like uh, the chicken breast. The, if the like, if you ever make a pork chop, that's all good. It's they're so good. Paninis, all that stuff. Oh yeah. So there's. I was reading about it. it says it makes paninis, right? And I didn't really know what a panini was. I knew. I found out what a panini was a little bit before um, the song panini, because my kids would make <laughs> paninis. So I said to Blake, I go before I buy this. It says this George Foreman grill is good for paninis. I know we have a panini thing. Can I just use that? No. <laughs> so, all right. So I ordered the George. You're gonna be grill. so happy with that. Really? The only oh, yeah. thing I remember, and maybe they've made it better, is that it's so hard to clean. I thought that was I a problem with the pans. Clean. That's why. Like, what's... well, they make them dishwasher no. now. You just throw it in the dishwasher. What's, well, I just and got George the George I got the yeah. old one. I got the oh, I got the original. I didn't go any weird stuff. It's, it's not too crazy. Now you can take off the plates. Just throw them in the dishwasher. Oh, that makes it better. Yeah. So okay. easy. You're gonna be great. <laughs> it's gonna stop the problem of the spatter. Oh. That's what you, that's what your wife doesn't like. Oh, okay. And well, it cooks on both sides at the same time. I don't know. I've, never, I've seen the commercial. I've heard about it. I've just never used them before, so I'm pretty excited about They're it. Amazing. Know We're excited for you. You have one, Peyton? No. Do you know what it you does? Get one. No. I just know George Foreman is the boxer guy. Yeah. Yeah. And then he no. had this. He made this I know grill. he has the grills and stuff, but I've never seen one or used same. one or know how it works. So same. But does it sound intriguing now that Kyle and Rich are telling you a about little it? bit? Because I understand the splatter and the oil and stuff, which uh-huh. can be really annoying. But also. So, Peyton, for like you and me, her, we don't really like to cook and we're not that great at it. Nope. It takes like the guesswork out. Like you put chicken breast in there, done. Oh, okay. You put the burger in there, done. Okay. You don't have you to, don't flip have to worry anything. about it. Okay, I might need that because I did make like pulled um, barbecue chicken sliders last night and my chicken was still raw after I cooked it. Dear oh, God. Yeah, I was like, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want that. <laughs> is your brother going to jump on the air with this from Coachella? I've him 20 times literally and he is, he is like a dead body right There's now. There's no way he's awake. No. He literally got home three hours ago. Yeah. Was Coachella last night too? Yeah. So that's where a lot of the stuff yeah. like the, the Bieber hugging Jaden Smith. Yeah, no, that, no, that, happened. that was a couple no, that days happened before. Saturday. But oh. Bieber did go on stage with Thames yesterday. Yeah. But Doja Cat was the headliner last night. Is that what yeah. she got naked too, right? Yeah, and she made out with one of her dancers. Jeez. So, yeah, Doja Cat was lit. And I know my brother is a huge Doja Cat fan, so I'm sure he's feeling it this morning. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I was, when I saw Bieber come out and sing with Thames, I was like, do they rehearse that or do they just, you know what I mean? Because how, yeah. how, wouldn't that leak? I would think they would have to rehearse or, it. I, I would think that too, yeah, but it just look, it version. looks like they rehearsed, but what, where and how? I mean, but... I don't know if Bieber did or not because Jay Balvin brought out Will Smith and he posted after Will Smith came on the stage a whole behind the scenes that they prepared their entire show. But Is that Will Smith did Men in Black? Mm-hmm. That was sick. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was cool. Man, that Coachella was like, I, I thought it was going to be a bummer, but Me man. Too. I know. I know. What's so crazy is I was saying that. I was like, I feel like the lineup for this year for Coachella is kind of lame, but I've never felt more FOMO than I did over the last for weekend. Real. Just there was Coachella. no hype before it. Like Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey are making out just in the audience with all Wait, the regular people. Taylor Swift in the audience with the regular people making out. Singing her song is who was on stage. Ice Spice. Uh, Ice Spice was singing her song, and yeah. Taylor's lip singing. That was what? such a weird, like mind blown. Makes yeah. you love Taylor even more. Yeah, really? and then you have Lana Del Rey bringing out Billie Eilish to sing video games and Ocean Eyes. Like I would have cried right then and there. Well, what's weird, what's cool about that too is also if you watch the Billie Eilish movie when she was sixteen and she performed at Coachella for the first time and she was so nervous. Mm-hmm. And that's when she meets Katy Perry and Orlando Bloom and she doesn't know who Orlando Bloom is. <laughs> yeah, and then she gets Bieber on Facetime and she's yeah. like. I'm so nervous. Like, now she's the person that's like, hey, I'm going to pop in. Right. I know, right? right? Isn't that wild? Don't I, you think that Coachella made Billie Eilish, too? I think that launched her into the stratosphere. I mean, I think so, too. I Yeah, I mean, maybe. Yeah, Billie Eilish is dope. But I don't know if Coachella was the one. I feel like that was it. What about Bieber and Jane Smith? That was a little. That okay. was going viral because they were they they were like blowing out a little bit. I know. Well, because like <laughs> Jaden Smith was like grinding on Justin Bieber, and then Justin Bieber grabs Jaden Smith and basically almost kisses him on I the thought, mouth. Yeah, I thought that was gonna yeah. be a mouth kiss when so, I first. I was like, wait, did Jaden turn his head? <laughs> yeah, and Bieber was going in for it, or was it like? He was going to the side the whole time. I don't know. Yeah, I my best friend Kelsey and I actually were going back and forth on this because when we were like 12, Jaden Smith was my man. You couldn't tell me any different. And it was like <laughs> that for Justin Bieber for her. So we were like, how do we feel about this? And we kind of came to the consensus that 
they're just broing out. I think they probably haven't seen each other in a while. And that JB went to go kiss on the cheek, but Jaden turned and it almost ended up a smoochie. I don't know, but I kind of loved it. <laughs> Morning! All right! She's ready. <laughs> You're playing for some Av- Avril Lavigne tickets, my Keisha. Yes! All right, Nick, well, how are we playing this game? It's called Noise Machine, you guys, and here's here's how we play. Get this. I'm going to play a noise and you guess what that noise is. Yeah. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, so I like to theme my games, my Keisha, and this one specifically. Everybody's talking about Coachella, am I right, guys? Yeah. yeah. These are the sounds of Coachella. Okay. The things that happened at Coachella. Cool? Okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. sounds okay, fun. Good. Right, so I'm right. glad everybody it sounds, uh, sounds like so excited. John Jay, we're going to start with you. So you want me to tell you who that is? Yeah. Uh, sounds like, I, I don't think that's the Bieber song, but I'll go with Bieber. Okay, that's not correct. I'm sorry, John Jay. Any guesses? Uh, don't uh, be an otherwise idiot. Otherwise in the room. Oh, no. Tyler Creator set, maybe? Tyler the Creator. Yeah. yeah. Childish Good Gambino. Job. Okay. Push it. Yeah. Uh, Tyler this weekend. Like, it just sounded a little weird, which is like Tyler the Creator, you know? Mm. Yeah, well, that was Childish Gambino. Okay, it's just Tyler the Creator's okay. got a D. Yeah, yeah, he's got a, a vibe. Yeah, so good guess, but wrong. I was close. Okay. Uh, Rich? <laughs> That's Bathwater, the No Doubt Pat- song. Oh. Uh-huh. Joined by That's Olivia good. Rodrigo wow. on stage. Yeah, two I points why did they pick there. that song? That's a great song. I, I kind of thought the same thing. I was like, I why would you I'm do just like a girl. I bet yeah. you she picked it. For the O-Rod it. moment. She probably yeah. picked it because she knows it. You know? I was disappointed well, in You're that right, choice. Kyle, because Olivia Rodrigo's band is an all-girl band. So yeah. They totally should have done it. Totally would have worked. Oh, my God. They missed that one. So cool. They missed out. Good job. Good job, Peyton. They didn't describe that accurately. Peyton, your turn. Um, this is a difficult thing to explain. <laughs> who, who is that? This is a difficult thing to explain. Yeah, I know who it is. I know. Can I, I hear like, it again? Can I, feel? Can I hear I, it again? Uh, you're not going to know who it, you're gonna know it is, gonna it. no matter how many times you play yeah. for you. It's okay. not going to matter if you don't get it can now. I, okay, I'm going to phone a friend. Kyle and John Jay, can you help me? <laughs> I think it's Grimes. Grimes. Twas Grimes. Yeah. Yeah. Difficult to yeah. Kyle. <laughs> She had a lot of stuff go wrong in her set. I forget set. that she's an artist. Mm-hmm. She is. <laughs> and not Elon Musk's baby mama. Glad. Okay. Cool. We're going to move on to Kyle. All the song tempos are double speed, and I have not practiced the math because I'm not fast at math. That's still Grimes. That is also Grimes, yes. <laughs> There's a lot from her set that I really enjoyed, but some of it you can't play on the radio. I think she's so. an alien. Uh, Rich okay. has two points. Kyle has one point. Uh, no, one point. Nobody else on the board yet. My Keisha, here's your shot. Black suit with the black green That was my shot. That was your shot. Yeah. <laughs> you maybe you can hear it again. You can hear it again. It was short. Okay. Black suit with the black green Oh my goodness. Hmm. Hmm. Oh my gosh. I thought this was. I, I gotta say Drake. It is wrong. Oh. Say Drake. Okay, was not Drake in the room? Rich, I want to help her out for a point. Mm-hmm. That's uh, Will Smith getting up on stage with Jay Balvin. Yep, yeah, that's doing correct. Men in Black. My oh, Keisha now has it. two points thanks to Rich. Way to go. Uh, we're going to start round two with John Jay. Guys, we could even do like choreography. We could like. We could, yeah, we could just even figure it out. You know, improv, freestyle. Um, that's Billie Eilish. It, 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 no, Payton. I'm sorry. With the Don't be an idiot. Yes. Sabrina Carpenter? Yeah, she debuted Espresso. Yeah. Oh, I felt like she was kind of awkward. For the first time. Huh. Like she, you could tell she was nervous. She was probably, I would, would be you? nervous if I yeah, were her. It was her first time yeah. at Coachella, but yeah. yeah, like you could tell that she was feeling it. And I'm like, girl, you just performed with Taylor Swift in front of how many yeah, people? Yeah, but it's like Coachella. I know, I know. You know? <laughs> I'm cutting her slack. It's all good. Go for her. Okay, we're, I'm sure she appreciates you cutting her stuff. Mm-hmm, I know. Uh, Rich? <laughs> Billy Eilish with Lana Del Rey doing Ocean Eyes. My goodness. Rich killing Rich. it. Rich oh, killing the come challenge. Four points for Rich this game thus far, and we're going to move right on to Peyton. <laughs> Is 
the noise of somebody laughing at someone falling on the stage at Coachella. Okay. Mm-hmm, that's it, my answer. I, no, I'm sorry. That's incorrect. Any other guesses? In there? I was think that, that's the video of the Justin Bieber hug. Okay. Was that also Grimes? No, I'm sorry. It wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a fun callback joke. Now, that was somebody tipping over a porta potty at Coachella. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, gross. Delightful. Yeah. Yeah. Really gross. Disgusting. So, zero points for Peyton this game. Nice try, though. Kyle. That's Kesha dissing P. Diddy with Renee Rapp. Yeah. Yeah. Yay. All three things are Kyle's favorite. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, my Keisha, you've got two points right now. If you get this correct, you're going to win uh, 1,000 points, and you're going to go see Avril Lavigne, okay? Okay, okay. Oh, gosh. Okay, I'm just going to default to Avril Lavigne. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, my Keisha. That's, That's a not good kind guess. Of it was. That is something was- Nick would do. <laughs> it, it was... <laughs> It was Ice Spice shouting uh-huh. out Taylor Swift. Uh, I could barely hear. Oh, yeah. yeah. oh, yeah. We should have listened yeah. again. Yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't recognize it. I was there. You were there. VIP. I don't feel right. so bad now. Yeah. <laughs> he was on Travis Kelsey's shoulders. I was. Time. All right. So we'll set her up anyway. Huh? Yeah, Mike come on. Keisha, you're yeah. going to Avril Lavigne. No. Don't fight it. You're going to Avril Lavigne, Okay. Hold yeah. on the line, Mike Keisha. You just hold on the line. Some might say my clues were too complicated. No. Ah! 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 I see what you did there. Yesterday, I you know was, I was watching TV, eating, and I hear this noise, and I look, and the dude comes running out of the bathroom with the toilet paper, like still connected to roll. So it's like, yeah, the whole roll in the living room. And I'm like, what the hell? And he's like running around like he's, you know, one of those flag people at the Olympics. You know, there's been toilet paper everywhere. And I jumped up and I get it. And then my wife calls and I said, man, what well, Paolo just ran out with all the toilet paper. She's like, never expected this from her. Did you film it? <laughs> I was like, no, because it was chaos. So that, now the toilet paper rolls on the wall, you know, and it's just piled up. Just a big stack of toilet paper. Anyway, National Pet Day. So don't forget, if you want to volunteer, please volunteer. And you know what? We might actually have some paid openings too at the Love Pup Shelter soon. So shoot Blake an email at lovepupfoundation at gmail.com. Okay, Peyton, let's talk about what happened to you last night. Oh my goodness. So you know those times where you're just so tired and you just fall asleep. Like there's no warning. You don't remember anything. You're just like lights out. So that happened to me last night as I was scrolling on TikTok and I woke up this morning and this TikTok that I had been watching before I'd fallen asleep, apparently had been on loop for the last eight hours. <laughs> so I literally woke up this morning with my phone in my left hand, and this is what I hear. Dream guest on my podcast? Oh my gosh. I mean, honestly, let's spice things up. One of my exes. Oh? <laughs> on loop. JoJo Siwa. On loop for Jojo eight Siwa's like- hours. <laughs> I got like 10,000 views from this one person last night. <laughs> so is that audio Literally. in your head? Like, was it part of your dreams? Was it part of it? Had to it wasn't a part of my dreams, but I'm actually scared of JoJo Siwa now. Like, <laughs> her, her voice is ingrained in my head. It, it's a very recognizable voice. <laughs> I mean, if you know that's JoJo Siwa right away. Yeah, totally. So that was that's my life right now. I just pass out <laughs> watching TikTok on loops. For yeah, hours. You, were, like, you were tired. You, you would think maybe Kadeem would like take your phone, maybe turn uh, that off, because then he would have to fall asleep to that too, right? That's interesting that you bring Kadeem up, Kyle, because Kadeem didn't go to sleep for 30 hours yesterday. He, he pulled an all-nighter. He was up Why? for 30 hours straight. He said he just couldn't sleep. I was actually genuinely concerned about him because when I woke up for work in the morning, he was still awake. When I got home from work, he was still awake. When we went to Top Golf and everything, he was still awake. When we got back home last night at 6, he couldn't keep his eyes open. He was knocked out. Lights out. Could, I was shaking him, trying to get him to wake up. No one was so the loop him. wasn't going to bother him. Wasn't okay. bothering him. Was he, were you guys in bed? <laughs> yes. Oh. That's why you shouldn't be on your phone in bed. Forget the I mean, EMF stuff. I mean, it's, it's the loop, the okay. audio that gets stuck. The JoJo about. loop. <laughs> no one, no one listens to white noise anymore. Just listen to JoJo see on loop, and you'll have lights out. You're good. My dream guest at my next podcast. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's already Kyle heard it one time. She's gonna... no. <laughs> so Peyton. Peyton was kind of like all excited about the date May 9th. Why is May 9th so important to you? Well, it's just a really memorable day for me. So May 9th, I graduated college. 
May 9th, I celebrated two years on the air with you guys. May 9th, my best friend had a baby. And May 9th, Justin Bieber is having a baby. Baby, baby, baby. He announced it. He announced it. When my wife saw that, she was like, and there's six months, right? Six months pregnant. Yeah. And what's the vibe on Justin having a baby? When I saw that, I was like crying, screaming, (laughs) throwing up. Like part of me was so happy, but then the other part of me was like so sad. And all I could think of was his song, That Should Be Me. That should be me. <laughs> I got emotional yesterday. Yeah, you have two kids. Do you think Selena Gomez has felt the same way? Oh, yeah, yeah that's why she posted yeah. the, the lovey dovey pic with Benny Blanca. Oh, I didn't see it's that. just like their hands intertwined she can't on the help bed. It. She can't help it. She's sick. I no, know. No, just let her sick. be happy. She's moved on too. I think she posted that on purpose to be like, I'm good too. I know everyone's going to be thinking, she can't win, what is Selena Gomez thinking? But she's like, I'm with my mans. Wow. I'm with I, my didn't, mans. I didn't even think about her until right now. Like, so it's interesting that she posted that too. Which isn't, like, so, I think that's a little odd. Like, the, if you don't care, then why are you posting yeah. it? Yeah. True. The song that you just played, the It Should Be Me. Can I hear it again? The It Should Be Me thing? There should be me holding your hand. There should be me. And what's going on with this? Look at Peyton. What's going on with this on social? <laughs> so on TikTok, this song is going extremely viral because there is a bunch of other girls out there just like me who is obsessed with Justin Bieber at like 10, you know? So people are taking this song. They're taking their Justin Bieber pillows, their blankets, their comforters, their Justin Bieber Barbie dolls, and they're singing this song and crying in a corner. <laughs> there should be me. <laughs> should we make one of those? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. What kind of Justin so Bieber merch did you have as a child? All of the things that I just listed. Oh, wow. <laughs> Okay, you still have but doesn't I was a this, big believer. Doesn't this explain Stephen Baldwin's post yes. right for them? Yes. That's mm. totally like the timing works out. I feel like that's when they told the family they were having a baby. And everyone right? spun it negatively. And everyone thought it was bad, but it was a good thing. So they, then if you're Bieber or you're Haley Bieber, you're like, Dad, why would you say that now? Everyone's thinking that we're breaking up and we're doing whatever. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, everything was just great. Yep. Wow, so crazy. Man. I'm, yeah, I'm happy for them. I'm really happy for them. I know. But then again, I'm also kicking. <laughs> but also, I'm also like, man, she's six months along and she's showing quite a bit. I'm like, how did they keep that a secret? And that's why they were taking quote unquote space. Oh. So bad. Because they didn't want anyone to see her yet. They weren't ready to like let their secret in them for the world to know yet. Weren't they at, weren't they at Coachella though? So did she like Justin hide was it? at Coachella? Did you oh, see Haley there? I don't I thought Haley was there. I thought I had saw her post something on Just Instagram. in a baggy shirt or what? I don't know. I'm gonna have to go and look now. <laughs> I, know, I know. Now I'm gonna have to like really dissect the pictures. But either way, they're having a baby. That's great. You know, so if exciting. you're a normal person and you're pregnant, you know, you wait to a certain thing, you make the announcement to your family, right? Now picture if you're them, you have to do that and you have to manipulate the, the world. media, yeah. the world, the whatever, because there must be a reason they dropped it yesterday, right? Because it was May 9th, which is a good day. <laughs> what was the day uh, Peyton and graduated? <laughs> yeah, all right, let's do it. There must be something, or maybe it was because it's before Mother's Day or something. I don't know. So but. cool, though. In fact, last weekend, I was with Peyton's dad, made a couple TikTok videos, and now, and we keep talking about Peyton wanting to get married, right, with her yep. boyfriend, Kadeem. What's the latest with your dad and your boyfriend? Y'all, every time my dad introduces my boyfriend, Kadeem, to someone, he introduces him as his son-in-law. And I'm like, hmm, I love that for me and for you and for all of us. But where's my ring? Like, (laughs) where's the wedding? Like, I love that my dad loves my boyfriend, you know? Like, me and my dad have a different type of bond. He was my coach in high school. Like, that's my guy, you know? So the fact that he loves my guy as well is the best feeling. But I'm also like, Dad, if you're going to call him your son-in-law, can you convince him to marry me? <laughs> like, <laughs> I say convince, but, you know. <laughs> do you have, uh, I mean, obviously, probably now, but do you have a timeline in your head of, like, when it would really truly make sense for him to propose and when your wedding might be, Peyton? Jeez, I would like to be married by 27. I'm 25, turning 26. 20, 27? So maybe 28. <laughs> I'm a mess. Okay. Now, speaking of Kadeem, your boyfriend, what's going on with his family? Yeah, so I've been telling you guys that over the last week and over the weekend, his family was in town. His dad was here, his stepmom, his sister, his cousins, everybody was in town. And it feels as if every other month, maybe, his dad and his stepmom 
are coming out to visit, which I love. But now his stepmom is like interested in talking to my mom about buying a house. So I'm like, oh my gosh, it's happening. The Stricklands are going to be in Arizona and I cannot wait. I feel like in 10 years, Strickland's going to be like all over the city. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's Kadeem's last name. But yeah, so I, I feel like we're slowly but surely like bringing everyone in because they live in Portland and they live in Seattle and they live in LA and all over the place. And it seems like everyone's starting to come to the, to the valley. So I'm excited. Do you about feel that. like that is a sign for a possible ring down the future? Maybe. I mean, that'd be great. I just I know that, like, you know, when it comes with marriage, it's like you have kids and you have a family and all those things. And I just I would love for my child to have both of their grandparents in the same state, oh, in yeah. the same area. And babysitters, like, yeah. you don't have to work hard. You can go out more because <laughs> exactly. the parents are around and exactly. they're going to love on those kids. Right. And they're going to want to be with their grandbabies, too. Yeah, so for sure. I'm I'm pushing it into the future right now, manifesting it. So good vibes from us. Marriage is such hard work. (laughs) (laughs) Having a family is such hard work. It's rewarding, Uh, though. I mean, you can't just say the bad side. uh, Being single is fun, too. (laughs) It has its ups and downs. Yeah, exactly. Everything does in life, really. I'm like, I'm in my mid-20s. I'm ready to settle down, and I'm ready for the marriage and the commitment and the kids and the family. I'm ready for it, so... I, I, say love that that. I, I love say that. I love that. I say that now, though. <laughs> and when I'm like eight months pregnant, I'm going to be calling you Kyle and yeah. be like, why? Let's save this <laughs> little this? piece of audio. <laughs> <laughs> How come you said, oh, you said, I- I'd be mortified if any of you guys saw my room right now? Oh, my goodness. So yesterday, <laughs> so everyone's been in town, right? Everyone's been coming to our apartment and things like that. So everything in our living room has just been thrown into the bedroom. And it literally looks like a tornado came through and wrecked my room. It is so gross. I was in the closet last Last night and in my head I was like man if John J. Rich and Kyle saw this they would be so grossed out they probably would think I live in filth right now grossed like, out like that's me. gross yeah I was saying if it's clo- if it's house stuff Rich that would be bad. the only yeah, one yeah, yeah. Kyle's John 100% right. would be like hey. <laughs> it's just a lot of clothes and I wake up to go to the bathroom in the morning and I'm stepping on clothes and yeah, shoes I'm almost falling over makes me itchy right <laughs> let, let me give you a little I'll tell you how little that would bother me when I was single, I lived by myself. I came home a little too intoxicated, puked in my bed, just covered it with a sheet and left it like that for like a week. <laughs> so gross. Yeah. 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 So it's doesn't, like bother no. doesn't bother me. doesn't bother me at all. <laughs> you're clean. You're clean. In fact, I remember when we, like, we, whenever we tried to sell a house, you put it for sale, my wife would be like, we have to clean it. I'm like, just leave it. Let, like we're living here. You know how you, when a, your house is for sale, hey, someone wants to come look at your house. You got to leave. And yes. I got it and clean it all up. I go, just leave. It's a house that's lived in. People look at it. And if the people are going to try to buy the house, don't have the vision to see what their house would look like. I would never put shampoo there. We're not buying it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, all the real estate tricks. <laughs> but anyway, I don't think your house is that messy. Why don't you, did you have a picture? Did you take a picture of it? No, I didn't take a picture. It's so embarrassing. <laughs> it is Please so do. Are you, the, so what, you have a one bedroom, right? One yeah, bedroom? one bedroom, oh. one bath. So when people come over stay... You guys just go in your bedroom to go to sleep and they sleep on the clean couch? Yeah, well, there's a pull-out couch. Our couch is a pull-out couch. So okay. it's like a little bed. It's like a queen bed. But yeah, we just take everything and throw it in the room. And now you have other your own family coming too, right? Yes. This today. You got too much going on. What did you talk about earlier? Your social battery. Yeah. Too many I people. Oh man. And I'm you know, I'm social. I like to talk and hang out and go have a drink and stuff. And I'm about drained. Yeah, my dad's <laughs> biological sisters and my cousin that I just met in December are going to be in town for the weekend. Just hanging out, getting to know everyone. I have to introduce them to my siblings, which I feel like is a little awkward too because I've only met them once. So I'm like, here's your new aunties and your new cousins and your new family. Like, it's a little weird, but... It is weird, but you know, I'm half Mexican and that uh-huh. happens every day. Really? <laughs> I meet a new relative every day. Just because it's such a big family? <laughs> every day, yeah. yeah. Man, it's, it's crazy. And your dad's not even here, right? No, my dad's out of town. My my mom and dad are in San Francisco for a basketball tournament. Isn't that funny? Though his yeah. whole new family is coming to visit, and he's like, "I'm out." No, <laughs> have I mean, fun, Virgo. I, I was gonna say, Virgo. He is such a Virgo. A <laughs> uh, couple months ago, my wife's credit card got stolen. I think right, so we had to cancel it, and mine was—I don't know how they're attached, so I had to get a new one too, right? And I have season tickets to the Phoenix Suns. This is a story I feel is like somewhat unrelatable, but that's maybe, okay. But maybe relatable if you try to put you in my my shoes. So the Suns kind of like. They're not that great right now. And I signed up for next season for season tickets, right? So you get automatically charged your credit card. And then I got a call from them saying, hey, if we make the playoffs and you want tickets, it's automatic. You're going to get the tickets. If you don't want tickets, you have to go to the website and opt out. And you won't get 
and you won't get charged. We uh, charge you automatically for, for playoffs and season and finale, final tickets. And I'm like, well, I'll probably do the playoffs. I don't know. Anyway, I get this email. Yesterday it says, hey, your credit card is not working, so we can't charge you for your tickets. And if you don't want them, if you don't fix your credit card, then you're not going to be able to get the playoff tickets. And I was like, you know what? I don't want playoff tickets. So I'm fine with that. But I don't know what's wrong with the credit card because I thought the new one was already replaced, you know? So anyway, I go to the website. that They give me the click. And it turns out that the tickets for the playoffs and all that are like three times more expensive than oh, season tickets. Oh, wow. Yeah. Come on. Mm-hmm. And I, when you look at the number, I'm like, what? I don't want to play. I don't want to pay that. <laughs> <laughs> so... I emailed the guy and I go, hey, I, I go, I um, I tried to call you. I said, I didn't get a hold of you. I go, but I tell you what, it's okay. I don't need playoff tickets. Now, the opt-out date was April 2nd, right? But now they're telling me if I don't fix my credit card, I can't get the playoff tickets. I don't want the playoff tickets, right? So if I go in and plug in my credit card, they're going to charge me for the playoff tickets. Mm-hmm. Right. But then I won't get my tickets for next season. Right. <laughs> Do you see the weird? It's a little uh-huh. conundrum. The weird, the weird thing where like it's a possible beef today. Yeah. Like, what do, like you know what I'm saying? What what do I do? <laughs> type of deal. It, and then I thought, well, what if they do? Because they, they already made the play in game. So yeah. there's that's already there's, there's two. at least one playoff there's, game, right? No, I think they got to do seven. Isn't oh. it best of seven? Not in the play in. No, right? they're in the play in game. So they they'll have one home game. And that's, okay. That's it. And if they lose, if they lose, their season's done. They have one playing game. If they win, then they make the playoffs, and then they continue on. Okay. So then, if I pay, give them my credit card, I can go to that game and mm-hmm. sadly hope that they don't win. Yeah. So that I don't have to pay. <laughs> exactly. It's a, like cra- a it's a does. crazy amount of money. Mm-hmm. Like I looked at, and I was afraid to tell my wife. You know what I mean? She was kind. Of, she yeah. kind of goes like, "Oh, I don't think she looked at the number." Can Blake just call the person? I bet you she could get it figured out for you in 10 minutes. (laughs) But then you're in. Then you're all the way in. If she does it, you're going to go. Well, I'll go. I'll, I'll go to the one game. I don't want to go. She's not. She's not going to be in on that amount of money. It's crazy. Oh, okay, it's absurd, you guys. It's absurd. You know what I, mean? I also feel like no matter what, it's going to go sideways it's because go sideways. it's Jaja. Yeah. No matter what you do, yeah. yeah. So no, it's I already going sideways. You do anything. I'm going to be no longer be able to go to Suns games anymore. Anyway, so that happened. Yeah. Oh, so no. Kyle lost her dog. We were going to put up flyers. Oh no. <laughs> so, okay, we have a very. Like systematic routine. Every day, it's the same thing, right? In the morning, Scott gets the kids up. Daisy's out and about. When Scott goes to work, Daisy goes and she sleeps under the bed. We didn't crate train her. Under the bed is her crate. That's where she goes every day. It's where she feels safe. It's great. Whatever. When I get home from picking up the kids from school, that's when Daisy comes out of under the bed. And she greets us and we take her out to go potty and it's great. Like, yay. She's like a troll that lives under the bridge. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) basically. (laughs) Then she emerges. Okay, so yesterday, get home from the kids with school and Daisy doesn't come out. Well, that's weird. Like, okay, well, maybe she's just tired. Maybe she's taking an extra long nap today. We go about our day and I start making dinner and I'm like, usually she's out by now. So Easton, my six-year-old, is getting a little concerned. And so he goes in and he's like, Daisy, he's like trying to get her to come out and she's not coming out. And so he's like, okay. So we start eating dinner. Like, okay, I guess she doesn't want to come out. Then at dessert time, he goes back in with like, we give her a lot of treats. One of her treats that she loves is like, if the kids have dessert after dinner and it's ice cream, she'll lick the bowl after, mm-hmm. you know, how there's always that mm-hmm. leftover she's got ice cream. a good cream. life, yeah. man. Yeah. And he's like, I got to give her the bowl. She always likes the bowl. So he brings it in there. And she apparently, I wasn't in there at the time, apparently tries to get out, but can't get out. And so he comes over to us and he goes, I think Daisy's stuck. She tried to get out from under the bed, but she couldn't get out from under the bed. And so Scott goes in there and he had to lift up the bed so she could squeeze her way out. And I was like. Are we giving Daisy too many treats? Like, <laughs> do we need to put at... Daisy in a little doggy diet? Like, she can't get out from under the bed now. You know, it's is the picture we have of her that oh we posted my. yesterday because it was pet day. All this, you posted all her pictures. I was looking at her. She's such a beautiful dog. So you tell me she's chubby. She's I too guess chubby? so. I mean, she never had a problem getting out from under the bed before. Give her dog Zempic. Uh, yes, <laughs> she needs some dog Zempic or maybe one less. <laughs> 
leftover bowl of ice cream. I don't know. But oh, my gosh. I felt so bad because I just figured, oh, she's probably still sleeping in there. But she couldn't get out. Oh, the poor babe. That's so sad. <laughs> she wasn't whining or anything. She was just like, nope. I'm stuck. I'm just going to chill. She was like, you guys uh, enjoy dinner. I, and then that I'll makes me wonder, now. how many times did she try it and then just gave up? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Poor dog. <laughs> John Jane Rich, Danielle, good morning. You play a game with us. How are you? Are you there? Hello? Danielle. Hello. Hello. Hi. Are you there? Hello. Hi, I'm here. Hello. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, what are you doing? Sorry, I'm driving, but I'm in like the country. I'm sorry. Well, what are you calling to play a game for if you don't have a cell phone signal? Which country? I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm New River. New River, oh yeah. Oh, New That's River. God's country. Oh, yeah. So far. <laughs> yeah. Right. I'm doing great. How are you guys doing this morning? Good. Good. There's two places it's hard to get a cell phone signal. New River and my dentist's office. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, and isn't it so funny that I work in a dentist's office too? So no yeah. way. No way. It's the eclipse, I'm telling you guys. It's the eclipse. Okay. <laughs> Grant, let's play. What are you playing? All right, we are playing the four-second rule, America's fastest and funnest game show, kind of. Uh, you're probably wondering, uh, what are we doing? I'm going to give you four seconds to name three things in a certain category. Rich, can you play what four seconds sounds like? <laughs> That's it. It happens fast. So basically, I'm going to name uh, the, the, the category. You give me three things as fast as you can. You good to go, Danielle? Yep, I'm good to go, all right, John J. Van S., we start with you. The theme of round one is stuff is getting expensive again. I got gas this morning at four forty nine a gallon. Really cool, guys. <laughs> so, John J., in four seconds, think of three things you'd rather buy than gas. A uh, hamburger, hot dogs, popcorn, caramel corn, kettle corn, yogurt. <laughs> All, All food. food. <laughs> <laughs> John Jay on the board with one point. Nice job, word, John Jay. Word. Rich Barra, in four seconds, name three bills you have to pay every month. Gas, electric, and car. There it is. Nice. John Jay and Rich both on the board with one point. Incredible. <laughs> bills, Incredible bills, bills, bills. Peyton Whitmore. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, Peyton, in four seconds, name three items at the grocery store that are overpriced. Oh, potatoes, cheese, and actually Kraft mac and cheese. <laughs> it's like $6 for a pack of five. Yeah, come on. What? Highway robbery right Highway there. Highway robbery, <laughs> indeed. Everybody on the board after the first round. Kyle, let's see if we can get you there. Okay. Kyle, in four seconds, name three ways your car costs you money. Gas, electricity, if you have an electric car, windshield wiper fluid, which I just had to buy. <laughs> nice job. Hot first round. Especially those electric cars can't figure out the windshield wiper thing, huh? Mm. Still got to put fluid in there, huh? Just, they can run out of fluid, Yes, it's not so great. <laughs> Danielle, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Danielle, in four seconds, yeah. name three things you never want to pay for. Go. Um, water... Diapers and love. Oh, just in the What was that last one? Love. Oh. Oh, oh, yeah. I love it. Very nice. Very sweet. But if you have to. Yeah. You have to. Yeah. All right. Uh, round two is all celebrity related to a degree. John J. Van S. John J. Jason Kelsey tore the house down in Philly at WrestleMania over the weekend. John Jay, in four seconds, name three celebrities you'd love to see in the wrestling ring. Uh, Margot Robbie, um, <laughs> Sidney Crawford, and Eva Longoria. Uh, judges? Ooh, that was close. I'm feeling generous. Yeah, I'll I feel like he you. started saying Eva. Yeah. With yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's fair. Mm. Interesting choices, John Jay. <laughs> Rich Vera. Mm -hmm. There was a huge fight in the audience at a Cat Williams concert the other night. Did you guys see this? Mm -hmm. Got wild. <laughs> Rich, in four seconds, name three places it's appropriate to fight. Uh, the ring, the grocery store, and at a concert. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> you were, I mean, it happens. I mean, you said is appropriate. It appropriate to fight the at ring, the grocery yeah. store? The ring. Does, Does it, it happen at a grocery store? Yeah. yeah. Rich, <laughs> I'm taking away this bell. Good. Oh. Shame on you. Shame. Shame. Oh. 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 Shame. Oh.
Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Did you see this Morgan Wallen chair throwing story? Unfortunately, I did. Pretty cool stuff. <laughs> Peyton, in four seconds, other than a ball or a chair, name three things you can throw. <laughs> A table, a <laughs> fist, and a foot. A detached foot. <laughs> One that's already been chopped off. Very creative Ew. and sadistic. I like it, baby. Throwing it at your face. I mean, it's like, you wouldn't hang on to a detached foot. Nope. You should okay. probably throw it. <laughs> Kyle Unfug, are you ready? Yeah. So Diddle, Diddy is definitely canceled, right? Diddle is canceled. Yeah. Diddly. <laughs> Diddly done got canceled. Yeah. All right. So, Kyle, in four seconds... Name three celebrities you hope never get canceled. Britney Spears. Uh, <laughs> 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 my mind went blank. Because I was arguing in my head. I was like, did she kind of get canceled? Because people kind of canceled her, but she shouldn't be canceled. Uh-huh. Then I just got stuck on that. I get it. I get it. Well, no points for also Kyle. Also, Ryan Reynolds. Everybody else has two points. <laughs> Danielle, are you ready here? Also, Blake Lively. How can play the forty second rule? <laughs> and would it be appropriate to fight at Roadhouse? Roadhouse. Yes. yes. Okay. I'm just gonna keep coming up to you all day, Graham. I love it. Celebrities that should never yeah, be canceled. I love it. Perfect. She's, uh, just like in an hour. Selena Gomez. <laughs> I'm gonna call it home. <laughs> the Rock. Danielle, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. This one's worth five points. You can win it all here. Celebrity related. Danielle. <laughs> In four seconds, name three hot ass celebrities. Go. Uh, Denise Lady, Big Lotto, and Megan Thee Okay. Yeah. Emphasis on the big lotto. Yeah. She looks so good. <laughs> All right, Danielle, you're going to go see Niall Horan uh, from One Direction. Congratulations. Hold on the line. We are set you up.